Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Trouble Reactions here. My name is Logan. My name is Francesco. And in today's video, we are going to be recapping Game 7. Another year, another first round exit. And uh, this one's going to be a special one, because it's going to be a rant. So let's roll that intro. Yeah, here we go. Game seven against Boston. Go figure. We goes the exact same way we expected. We we thought they we had hope and we had prayed and it went all the way to overtime and we were holding our breath, but didn't even last two minutes. So third period. Third period when they finally wake up after the scoreless two periods. William Nylander gets the first goal of the Toronto Maple Leafs. In game seven. Mm -hmm. Third goal of the year, uh, playoffs for him. Matthews and Bertuzzi picking up the assist. Making the score 1 0 Toronto with 10 minutes remaining. 10 minutes remaining in the third. So you can just win it 1 0, right? Nope. Oh. A minute 30 later, Hampus Lindholm throws it on net. And just gets past Samson. through. James Van Riemsdyk and Brazo picking up the assist, making the score 1-1 one, one tie. And it goes to overtime. One thing I was not happy about is what Marner did when he had a chance to make it two goals. Uh, this was before there was even a score. Uh, he had the puck. He went to grab the puck behind the net just as Swayman was going to grab it, and there was no one in the net. All he had to do was go backwards, spin around, and tuck it in, and boom, it's in. But instead, he goes the other way towards Swayman, which gives Swayman a chance to get back in the net, and doesn't go in. Well, that was an easy goal that you gave up, and that could have been our series win right there. Nope. And then uh, goes to overtime. Two minutes in. Uh, Marner gets on the ice. Pasternak is going in. I believe Lindholm. He. Uh, Marner just, in the, Marner just the sees zone. David Pasternak, gives him a wave and goes. Yep. Nylander, Nylander just casually skating through like he's a fucking... I, I hate, I hate, I hate to wag on Nylander because Nylander was so good in the playoffs. To be honest, it it's, wasn't even his fault because it wasn't his position to stop uh, Pasternak. It's the defense. Riley, Riley's nowhere to be found. Marner just... So See Marner you later, buddy. Like, Hi, go skate right by me. He goes to the rebound. Riley's not, I don't know what he's doing, looking at Pasternak skate right by him and tries to just tap his stick. But obviously that's not going to do nothing because you're talking about Pasternak here. And then... Give Lubushkin, him a good give him a good chuck in there. Give him a good trip. You can't argue with Lubushkin because he's on the uh, right D and it's the left side that Pasternak is chasing. So it should be Nylander, I mean it should be Riley uh, getting a hold of Pasternak there. Now the puck goes right in front of Samsonov, he could have played it, it was in his reach to just tap it away, but I guarantee you this guy was nervous as hell, it's game 7 overtime. He probably thought, ooh, what if I hit it and then I come out of my net, Pasternak grabs it and scores, or if it goes around, but look what happened, you didn't grab it. He went around and scored because your D left you wide open, and David Pasternak ends the Leafs season. Listen, I'm gonna dog on some people right now as we speak. Sheldon Keefe, fire him into the sun! Now, before we rant, I'll just quickly skim over these stats. 32 shots on goal for the Bruins, 31 for the Leafs, 0 for 2 in the power for the Bruins, and 0 for 1 for the Leafs. I was really mad when 
Nice, got tripped on the breakaway. The ref literally went like this and pointed at the center dot as if there was supposed to be a penalty shot, which there should have been, but nothing came about. 48 hits for the Bruins, 42 for the Leafs, 20 blocks for the Bruins, 23 for the Leafs, 12 Excuse giveaways me. for the Bruins, one for the Leafs. Bruins win the series, 4-3, Leafs. Okay, now let's get into the rant portion of this video, okay? Now let's go into what the Leafs should do this season. Ready for this? This is what I think the Leafs should do this season. Fire Keith into the sun. He got out-coached and out-matched and literally wedgied in this fucking series oh. against Jim Montgomery. And this isn't the first time he's been out-coached. Okay. Trade Marners to some island. I don't know where. Listen. Timbuktu. I don't care. But trade him. We need him gone. Because he was non-existent. He was a ghost out there. Something needs to change. Brendan Shanahan, you're gone. Oh. Nine years, ten years in the making. Ten years of this core four. Ten years of the Later. core. One playoff round win to show for it. You tied yourself to the score. You're gone. Okay. A guy who fired Keith, uh, uh, fired fight uh, Dubis. Fired Dubas for actually trying to change the core. He was ready to trade someone and Shanahan said, nope, you're gone. Not my plan. You're yeah. gone, Brennan. You're gone. Yeah. John Tavares, I swear to God, get this guy off my hockey team. Now he wants him traded. Get I this guy him. off my hockey team. You I are understand. an $11 million forward. You are the captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs. You are the sweater of the Toronto Maple Leafs. You make $11 million a season. To produce in the playoffs, and what did he do? Two points in seven games. A captain. A leader. A true leader. You want to know who leads that locker room? Morgan Riley. Morgan Riley, Austin Matthews, whatever. Pick and choose who you want to say leads the cap. He doesn't lead the room. He's a silent leader. He is a mouthpiece for anybody. He is a bad puppet. I, now, I won't disagree about the captaincy. Honestly, I think Matthew should have it. Uh, but I disagree, and I think that he won't waive his no move clause. He's not going to want to leave. He has family, his kids. He built a life in Toronto. He doesn't want to go anywhere. And who knows? Maybe the uh, Brad will ask him, but I doubt he'll want to leave. They're just going to have to eat his last year of that contract because no one wants this $11 million contract, even with retention. Because it's terrible. Because he's terrible. I'll be he's honest, a playoff not, loser. They should not have signed him for so much for so long. They should have done like what Matthews does for five years instead of signing him for seven years. I'm glad, let's be glad it wasn't eight years. Uh, but I don't think he'll leave. I think he'll eat the last year of his contract, and then after that, re-sign him for a team-friendly deal, three to four million, a couple of years. For a loser, a playoff now, loser. I disagree. I think he makes good plays. Uh, he was a little ghost in the series. He could have done more. He should have done more. But he set up nice in the overtime winner. He scored early in the series. He should have done a little more. You gotta expect a little more from Tavares, but I he don't think he should leave. He literally got two points in seven games. Your captain, your captain, this eleven million dollar forward and potentially four million, which is too high for me. He thinks it's too high. I think it's right. Four million dollars for a thirty-three year old. Five years? No thanks. Not even close, buddy. One year. I One year would, for I four million. Three year. Three million. Three year. Five year. Three millions. Five, five year or for a thirty-three year old. Mm. For a thirty-three year old, that's almost. That's worse than. I mean, that's not worse. But Ryan Reeves is three years. We're paying David Camp two point four million for another three more years. That's bad. That's what I want his cap to be. That's what I want John Navarro's cap Cam, to be. But I would trade him, even though he has three more years on this contract. Uh, what did he do? What did he I, win face-offs? I want. I we want have Max Domi now. I want. I want John Navarro is fired into the sun. He I want Mitch gone. Marner I guarantee fired into the sun. Be gone. I want Brendan Shanahan fired into the sun. Break up this core. Go in. Go in with Matthews and Nylander. Build around them. Screw the rest of the guys. The core four is done. 
It's over. It was a bad experiment and it was. $40 million tied to four forwards. Sucks. And let me just get this straight. You want to get this straight? You want to see a funny stat? Listen to this. Core four hasn't produced in the playoffs. And they have one round win. One round win in eight years of this core. 20, 2014 was the start of the core. 2015 is when they drafted Marner. 2016 is when they drafted when they drafted um, Matthews. 2014 is when they drafted, I think, Nylander. 2014 was 15. the year, or 2015. 2015 was the year the core four started. Something like that. The idea. And they got one round win to show for it. Oh, and Riley's been here for even longer. Right? Twenty, yeah, twenty twelve. But this is this is it. I'm done. I'm done. If Brendan Shannon, it starts from the top down. You start from the top down. You start with Mr. Old Brendan Shanahan. Nine years, ten years. I'm gonna go ten because mm -hmm. the dogs are already ten years. Ten years. Ten too long. Ten years. One playoff round win to show for it. Shanahan you're gone. Is Fired into the sun. Shanahan gone. Shanahan, you're gone. Let's go down another step. Brad, you stay. You stay, yeah, Brad, because... you only had one year. Because you only had one year. And, and Brendan Shanahan's at the helm. So, yes. of course. Yeah. Um, you can't make moves that you want to make. Mm -hmm. Brendan Shanahan, you're gone. Keith. Keith's the next guy up. Later. You're gone. Craig Berube in. Craig uh, Berube you, slotted in. Would you fire uh, the power play coach, Guy Boucher? Here's what I want. Or now, this is going to be stupid. This is going to be stupid. This is going to be stupid, but I'm going to go with it. Craig Berube, one. First coach I would target. First coach. Oh, 100%. Then I would target Jay Woodcroft. Reason being is because he took the Edmonton Oilers to the conference finals. So he knows what it takes to make it to the conference finals. We've never been there. We never tasted it. Okay. Mm. Jay Woodcroft. I would I would go Jay Woodcroft, even though there's many other coaches. Um then I would go Bright Bright Bruce Brudro. Bruce Brudro is a Toronto native. I wonder what happens with Ron uh, Rod Brindamore. Rod Brindamore is my second. So here's how it goes. Because they're talking about not Craig Berube. Craig Berube is my first choice. I'm going by free agents here. I'm going by free agents. If Rod Brendamore becomes a free agent coach, I want Rod Brendamore a second. Great coach, great guy. Rod Brendamore, second choice. Third coach, Jay Woodcroft. Conference finals appearance. Knows what it takes to be in the conference finals. And then fourth coach is Bruce Brudrow. Those are the four coaches I would want. Other than that, that's that's pretty much it. If you go off that list, Dave then, Haxel is gone, but I doubt they would go for him. He doesn't really have much going for. Dave Haxel was an assistant coach for the Leafs, but no thanks. Mike Sullivan is not leaving Pittsburgh. Dubis is gonna keep him, just like he keeps his guys. Berube, Granado, Woodcroft. Um, Drows there. They talked about John Cooper, but I think he's gonna re-sign with Tampa. It doesn't sound like he's leaving. Um, I don't know, maybe Rod, Rod Brindamore, but I, I think the top target is uh, Craig Berube. Yes, guy who's won the Stanley Cup, who knows what it takes to be there, who knows what it takes to win, who knows how to get the best out of his players, who knows Listen. how to call out people and not soften them like babies' bottoms, like Keith does. Let me this, tell you. Something. This playoff series hurt. This loss hurt because they were inches away. But inches away time, is not good enough. At the same time, what would have happened? We would have made it to round two and what? Got pummeled by Florida? Because it didn't seem like we were going to win against Florida. Boston won their game one. 5-1. Five, 5-1. One. Five, one. That's funny. I'd like to see what happens in that series. But nonetheless... I doubt this team would have come through against Florida. Maybe they would have pushed it far, but I doubt they would have came through. And maybe this is the wake-up call they needed. This is the wake-up call that management and MLSC needed for them to say, 
Brendan, goodbye. Keith, goodbye. Marner, Brendan goodbye. would have been gone Everyone, anyway. Goodbye. Brendan yes. would have been gone anyway if what Keith Pelly said, if the Leafs don't make it in the conference finals, it doesn't matter if they get stomped by Florida. Mm -hmm. They don't make it past or past the second round and into the conference at finals. At least conference finals. At least conference finals. Brendan Shanahan would be canned anyway. So the thing is, I don't care if he would have got stomped by Florida, which we wouldn't. I'll, I'll tell you that much with the momentum the Leafs have. That's true. Had with a 3-1 series deficit. They came back to win it in Game 7, yeah, just defeated their demons, and went on to the second round. The momentum would have been tremendous. They would have probably won against Florida, and that's a hot take as it is, because I believe in this core. I don't believe them in the net now. Like, they suck. They suck. This Let's idea see. of the core four sucks. Let's take a look down this list. Tyler Bertuzzi, Max Domi, I think they should be signed. Um, they left the door open. Seems but. like Bertuzzi wants term. So, yeah, I mean, who cares? Give him term. I wouldn't give him five, maybe four or five million. I don't know. Uh, Domi, I'd give him like four million or whatever, and I'd give him term as well. You gotta lock in Domi. Like, he performed, he was doing a good job on the top line. He fought, he stood up for this team. I liked him. I like his passion. David Kampf. That contract kind of sucks. 2.4 million for another three years. If you want to trade him for assets, do it. Cali Yarko, he's a low uh, cost player. I mean, he was a ghost this series as well, but he was coming off of injury. I don't know what the hell he was up to, but 2.1 million, I don't think he's going to go anywhere because he's got two years on his contract. Ryan Reeves, 1.35 mil. Two years left on his contract. He ain't going anywhere. I doubt he's going to leave. Uh, Matthew Nyes, he's got one year left on an ELC at 925k. I think they re-sign him because he had a really good series. He they obviously set. will. Nyes had a really good series. Connor Dewar, I'd re-sign him. No more than a mil. That's it. Because he's coming off, he's got, uh, he's coming off an $800,000 contract. Pontus Holmberg, they might decide to re-sign. I don't know what they're going to do about Robertson. He's going to be an RFA. Uh, Gregor is probably going to walk, but he's going to be an RFA, I don't know. Morgan Riley we have locked up. Brody, see you later. See you later, buddy. Uh, McCabe, they got a lot up. Management even liked them. He was stepping up as a leader. He was really good. I liked him. Uh, Billy Grin, you're I would, gone. I would give him a friggin' A, McCabe, because he's been really good. Lily Grin, see you later, buddy. He's an RFA, but I doubt that goes anywhere. I don't know. Maybe it goes to arbitration. Or just, I don't know. Uh, Timmins, he, he kind of just sucks, but he's at 1.1 mil for another year. I don't know if they decide to trade him or not. Joel Edmondson, 100% re-sign. He was good. He knows what it takes to win. I definitely give him a few million dollars there. He's currently signed at 875k, but that's because he has double retention. Well, that's coming off the books, so I think that you definitely re-sign him. Uh, Cade Weber, we just signed prospect. I'm excited to see him and how he plays. Mark Giordano, I have a feeling he's going to announce his retirement because he didn't really play much at the end of the season. There's no point. Uh, Simone Benoit, we already re-signed at 1.35 mil for another three years, so I like that. And Labushkin, maybe for a mil. He wasn't bad. He was on the ice for most of the goals. Uh, four, so I don't know, maybe just... Samsonov? Get him back. Samsonov. Peace! Peace! Martin Jones? Peace! Um, Peace. I, I'm I'm sad for Samsung, but unfortunately, it's not working out. Anymore. Three point five, yeah. He, Buddy, he, he likes Toronto. He wants term, but I don't know what Brad. Brad has some options to wait here. He had no smile. Joseph Waldo. Sign him long term. Oh yeah, lock his lock him down for life. Guys, guys, a legend. Seven sixty six right now. Thank uh, God. For thank God. Year. Thank God, Matt Murray. John Klingberg and Jake Muzzins. All coming off the books. All coming off the books. $14 million now, reserved for them. You want to know who the top goaltenders are in UFA going into this offseason by AAV? Murray and Samson. And that's in the whole league. Isn't that funny? Well, that's what I read. And I don't know who they decide to choose to back up a wall. But I don't know about maybe Jones, but I doubt it. I don't know. He was okay, whatever. 
Maybe they give Murray another chance at like one million dollars. No. I, I, I doubt they're going to give him a chance. No. I don't know. Not even close, buddy. It, but I, I really want to see Easton Cowan play in the Leafs this season. Uh, guy won uh, London Knights and Fraser Oval Minton. MVP. Fraser Minton. Fraser Minton. Easton Cowan. I'm excited to see. Maybe they get uh, Niemela on defense. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the Hilda Beast comes up, decides to play some games. The Leafs have decisions to make. Projected cap space for next season, it's going up to 87.7. We're going to have 18.5 million to work with. Next year, next year's going to be so relieving. 51 projected. 51 million dollars projected. That's the following year. Because oh. also the cap's going up to 92 million. Oh, boys. We're in for it. We got eighteen million dollars to play with. I hope Brad retools the defense. Lock up the guys that you thought were excellent: Bertuzzi, Domi, uh, Edmondson, McCabe. Uh, There's guys eighteen like that. million dollars to play with, boys. Maybe lock up Dewar. Uh, Nice, definitely gotta lock him up. Other than that, Marner, man. I'm sorry, but this isn't working out. This relationship is not working out, buddy. 10.9. You let the guy skate by you, and, and you have a chance to ice to go to get a goal in the series. You have a chance to score a goal. You have a chance to stop a goal from being scored, and you fail on both attempts. And both were not hard. Both were easy. A $1 million player can do that. Like, come on, man. This is, that, this, that's just a joke. See you later, bye. Um, I think we the last play, that disappointing play, is the I'm last time just... we see number 16. In the Leaf jersey. I'm just, I'm just exhausted. I'm just, I'm but just sad. I wonder if he, if he's gonna be an ass about it and not wave his no move clause because technically he controls his fate. So. I'm just sad about it. You know, being that the Leafs, I, I don't this even is a know. Disappointing end. I don't know, man. Like I'm mad, but I'm disappointed. Like, why did you have to end it this? I'm way? more let down than anything. Like yeah. I, I already knew this was gonna happen. They just, the they just, they, could you not have just lost it in five? Like they gotta string you along and string you along and pull your hopes up and go all the way to game seven all our time. And 2013 and 2018 repeat itself. History repeats itself and the Leafs losing game seven against Boston Bruins. I'm just sad. I'm just oh, sad, sad, you know. It's, it's, it's saddening because the Leafs constantly, constantly do this. It's upsetting. Oh, and the way Keith talked in his press conference. He sounded like, like he was fired like the yeah. day of. Yeah, it sounds like he knows he's done. The way You're he said gone. It. He was emotional. Riley was a little emotional. The players were disappointed. But All the players like, say, we want the core four to come back. No, bro. I mean, what are they supposed to I say? Bad tree living makes some smart decisions. I don't know what's going to happen on Friday's press conference. That's going to be an interesting thing to watch. We're going to make a video about it, but it's going to be Keith Pelly, MLSC CEO, Brandon Shanahan, Toronto Maple Leafs President, and Brad Tree Living, Toronto Maple Leafs Gym Fire General him. Manager. Why is Brandon Shanahan at this damn press conference if we want him out? My guess is two things. Number one, he's sticking around, which is going to make me mad. Or number two, he's going to formally announce himself that he's stepping down as president and that they're gonna have no new president, and maybe Tree Living just reports to Keith Pelly, and there's no middleman. That would make things a lot easier for Tree Living, and things a lot more open in the lease management. Because Brendan Shanahan, being in the way, is blocking. Uh, like he blocks trades, he blocks things from happening. I know there was a trade years ago where they talked about Hagel and Fleury for Nyes. I'm glad that didn't happen. But other than that, like, I don't know. We have a first round draft pick, 23rd overall this season. We also have um, fourth rounder, three fifth rounders, and two seven rounders. But I'm excited to see who they pick first. Other than that, that's that's another 2023, 2024 Leaf season out the door. I hope you liked the rant. I mean, the rant wasn't that big because I mean we're just disappointed. I'm just disappointed it's more than sad. anything. I really, I really can't wait for Friday. I'm excited to see Keith gone, and I want to see Barube behind this bench of a team. Because hopefully he can fix our crap. 
But that's been today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Seems like our gaming video, um, the result that we had in the gaming video is not what we wanted to happen, but exactly what happened is what happened. Hey, you guys stick around for the uh, gaming videos that you don't know. We might predict another one. It seems like you guys want us to play Boston, Florida, so that's what we're going to do. And uh, I think we're going to play two games since we Yeah, we're going to do two different series. We're going to do Boston, Florida, and we might do Rangers and uh, Kings or whatever. We'll, 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 we'll see. see what we're doing here. But that's been another Leaf season, and now it's into the off season. Peace. Peace.